Hey guys, it's Cal from The Lighting Doctor here. I hope you guys enjoy this video with some more great landscape lighting tips. To learn more about landscape lighting, go and check out our website at lightingdoctor.ca or if you wanna see what a real quality landscape light should look like, go and check out our Try It Before You Buy It offer where you can get a premium quality fixture at a discounted rate with your very own battery pack so you can go and test out how that light's gonna look and feel what a real premium quality light should look like. So go and check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or go watch more videos on YouTube just by searching for The Lighting Doctor. Hey, Scott, uh, great question. Um, I, I thought it would just be easier uh, in a video here to try and answer those, but if there's anything else, let me know. Um, I would say uh, 30 lights, I know that you can fit on this transformer. The one thing is that if you want to add on down the road, then yes, I would definitely recommend two transformers. Um, you could always get that transformer later. Uh, one kind of hack around, especially if you're doing 30 lights, is you just want to be careful of voltage drops. So the 30 lights that you... Um, requested are probably only going to take about 110 watts so it can easily fit on here um, the only thing is the uh, depending on how long you're going to run that wire so if you're having to put um, i know for a fact you can easily put 12 lights on a 250 foot spool and have no issues you can even get um, you know 15 16 lights so half of those lights on 300 350 feet of 12 2 wire and have no issues if you wanted to do it all in one transformer, what I would do is just to split the split the load and split the voltage drop is I would actually have two. So this would be an example of you just had one line running out that runs to all your fixtures in a row. If you wanted to kind of split that power consumption, what you would do is you would have one run like this that would run to half of your lights. So say to 15 or 16 of those lights. And then you would put there's enough room in here. You can easily fit two. Uh, wires in each of these terminals you would actually have another run that feeds the other lights and then that way um, you're only putting you know for example you're only putting 60 watts on say 250 foot of cable so you have no issues with voltage drop or anything the only thing about just doing one is that you're already up to now 110 uh, 110 watts which is still plenty of room on a 150 watt transformer um, but if you think there's you know considerably more lights you want to add down the road I would recommend just doing two transformers. The other reason I like that too is that um, then you can actually control them separately. So you could actually have, um, say, front yard and backyard lights. You could have front yard lights on one transformer, backyard lights on the other, or say, up lights on one transformer, path lights on the other. And then with the uh, with the app, you actually set it up as you know front yard and backyard, and then you can control those two separately. So you can turn them off, turn them on manually, but you can also set them. Um, set the timers differently too. So if you don't want the up lights blaring, sorry, if you don't want the up lights blaring all night long, then you can uh, you can set those to come off earlier. So that's why I would probably recommend two transformers, just more flexibility, more room to grow uh, down the road. So uh, definitely do that. And then your other question about the um, about the LED light. Uh, so these the lights that we use are all LED. Um, but one thing to keep in mind, I get this question all the time to you, Scott, is I don't like the white look of, of LED. Uh, well, these bulbs in it are actually, if you look here, they're, uh, the color temperature is warm white, 2700 Kelvin. So that's actually the exact same color temperature as a halogen bulb. So most of um, the good quality LED lights that you buy now are going to range between 2700 and 3000 Kelvin, which is um, which is the same color temperature as like a halogen. Uh, 2700 Kelvin is actually the same color as a halogen bulb. So that look that you're looking for with that warm that warm yellow light, uh, that's exactly what you get here. So I think that answers all your other questions. If there's any other ones, I'll uh, I'll shoot you an email. Or if you have any other questions, let me know. I'll uh, I'll fire a kit together for you with what you requested, um, and we can go for there. All right, thanks, Scott. Guys, we're we're getting pretty close to getting wrapped up this project. Um, we've got all our lights in, so basically, you know, our first step was we uh, we took a design and we went and chose all our lights. What was cool about this one is, uh, you know, this is a client who actually had um, emailed in pictures for a free consultation, and because it was on Vancouver Island, we were able to do it. So uh, we looked through all those pictures, we gave him some recommendations. Uh, and then we give them a price to actually install it, which is not always the case because some of you guys are, are far away. I wish we could, but we just can't. But um, what was cool is then we got on site and a lot of what we had determined from the pictures were very accurate. So we already had a pretty good idea of what we were going to do, how many lights, and we were able to size the transformers beforehand. 
but sometimes, and it's often the case, we get on site and there's some things we want to add or some things we want to take away. So, um, so that's how we go and then determine our transformer. So we'll always try and, and determine that based on a design. Um, but the key is just leave it a little bit bigger if you're not sure because you always want to make sure you have enough room. And if you're using an LED system, um, it's not as crucial that you get it uh, the exact transformer as when you had a halogen system. With a halogen system, you had transformers that had multiple taps and you really had to be careful that you were getting the right voltage to the right lamps or you were just going to burn them out a lot quicker. But if you're, uh, if you're getting an LED system, a lot of times you'll see on the box, it'll say that your LED is usually rated from 9 volts all the way to 15 volts, which means it's going to operate within that range, whereas halogens was usually between 11 and 12, so you really had to do your math. Um, with LED, that eliminates a lot of that. So a general rule of thumb, and if, you're, if you have more questions about sizing your transformer and voltage drop and all that, Go to YouTube and just search Lighting Doctor Voltage Drop. There's a video where I go into a lot of detail and show you a chart and everything. Uh, but general rule of thumb, uh, on 300 feet of wire, you can put up to 100 watts and not really have any voltage drop issues as long as you're using a larger transformer like this that has a 15 volt tap, which means you're starting at 15 volts and all the way down the line you might get down to 10 volts, but that's still going to run that light and it's still going to be as bright as it should because that bulb is rated from 9 to 15 volts again assuming it's a it's a good one um, that's why we always say not all products are created equal so you have to do some due diligence there uh, we do a lot of that uh, in our kits but um, just just buyer beware um, so basically it's really simple to go and size your transformers you take all your lights you add up all the wattage of all the lights so if you have a bunch of five watt up lights and you've got um, let's call it 20 of them well that uh, that comes out to a hundred watts, but you want to size that transformer a little bit larger because depending on the efficiency of that bulb, uh, the more efficient it is, the closer that, that actual wattage is going to be to, to five watts, but the less least efficient or the lesser efficient bulbs are going to sometimes be almost 10 watts, even though the box says 10 watts and that's something called their, their actual, it's called their VA, their actual wattage. Um, so you got to be careful about that. That's why we always say size it a little bit more, but general rule of thumb, add up all your lights, um, add up all your lights and then size your transformer 20, 30, 40% more than that. Uh, if you don't want to have to worry about voltage drop, get a good transformer that has a 15 volt tap and you can run hundred Watts on 300 feet of line without running into that issue of, uh, losing any brightness at the end of the line. But that's basically it when it comes to a transformer. The only other thing I was gonna mention is the timer options. Now, um, you know, you see a lot of the dinosaur looking um, timers where it's this little digital or this little um, analog wheel that you got all these little tabs you gotta stick out. They got these, um, these different digital timers that you gotta be a rocket science to operate. The nice thing is that a transformer like this um, we use one of these, it's from, uh, it's from Wyon, it's a Wi-Fi timer, but basically there's, there's dozens of these on the market, and if you have a smart home system, have a look if they already have an outdoor plug, because that's all this is, it's basically a Wi-Fi plug for your outdoors, and all you have to do is now, when you go plug this transformer into your GFCI receptacle, um, all you're gonna do is you're gonna flip this into the on position, so you're just gonna leave your transformer in all the time, but this little thing here where usually you would have a photocell, which again, I highly recommend against because photocells just fail all the time. You have to have your transformer in the right position because if it's in a dark shaded position, your lights are gonna be on all the time. So all those kinds of things. But <laughs> to get back to it, basically where it says to plug in your timer or your photocell or whatever, all you have to do is unplug that, plug in your, your Wi-Fi plug, whether that be this one or whether that be one uh, based on the smart home system you have. Go and plug it into there and then you plug this guy into into your um, to your plug-in and then you just close that up, leave it in the on position and then you can go and operate everything from your Wi-Fi plug. And usually most of these, you don't need a hub anymore. Um, they have their own app so you can just go download it and it usually walks you through how to do that in two or three steps and all of a sudden now you have a, a Wi-Fi landscape lighting system but you haven't paid tons and tons of money for it. 
Another thing that we do a lot of times if, because I get asked all the time, well, I want my front yard, my backyard, I want to be able to zone them different so I can turn them on at different times, kind of like a sprinkler system. There, there is some really good systems that are out there that do that. Um, they tend to be quite costly. They're great systems, but it depends on your budget. If you don't want to do that and spend that kind of money on a system, just go and use a separate transformer. You know, in this case, on this project, that's what we're doing. We've got one of these for the backyard and one for the front. Luckily, because we have this timer, we can run both those controllers on the exact same app and set them up with totally different schedules, uh, which is what's cool about going and adding something like this to your transformers. And it doesn't have to be this one. It can be basically any outdoor Wi-Fi plug that you can plug into here is gonna work. So make your life a lot easier, turn your transformer, into a Wi-Fi system, go and size it properly, be safe, build it, um, select it larger in case you want to add on down the road too. So hopefully that helps answer your transformer questions. But like I said, if you need more definition on uh, voltage drop and stuff, go to uh, YouTube and search uh, voltage drop lighting doctor and I guarantee you'll find something. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. I hope you guys got some great tips and I hope you guys take advantage of your own free video consultation where you can send me a few pictures of your property and I'm gonna get back to you with your own personalized video pre presentation with all kinds of tips and tools on how to go and light your own property. So to get that, go check us out at lightingdoctor.ca or just email me a few pictures of your property at cal at lightingdoctor.ca.